present and future. Confounded by time and changing forever and Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus tells us today that mere external observance of God's law does not make us his true followers. Our observance of the divine law must spring from inner conviction. May our Eucharistic celebration make us grow in love a love that is free, responsible, and self-giving. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns 
with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Sirach tells us that we are free to choose between a life of faithfulness and a life of sin. But God, who knows everything, has prepared life for the virtuous and death for sinners. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water. To whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. To none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose ways is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe His decrees, who seek Him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law, and keep it with all my heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. The wisdom of God is His loving plan to save us through Jesus. It is the wisdom that proclaims the salvific merit of the cross of the cross of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away, Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for our glory, in which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the lords of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love Him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. Yes. 
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter of them or the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever ob obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raha, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Jehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at the woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It's better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Jehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It's better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Jehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife unless the marriage is unlawful causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you Bow, but I say to you, do not swear it all, at all. Not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more? is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, batiin naman po ninyo ang inyong katabi.
Hello? Ayan, mas malakas to. Binati niyo na po ang katabi niyo. Uh, pera o kahon. Siyempre gusto natin kahon, di po ba? Ando yung jackpot eh. So, kaya lang di mo alam kung ando, yun nga talaga. Well, uh, sa unang pagbasa po natin ngayon, ay may pagpipilian din tayo. Buhay o kamatayan. Buhay o kamatayan. At tayo po ang pipili. No? Tayo ang pipili. Um, well, um, magpasalamat po tayo. No? Hindi tulad sa pera o kahon. Sa pera o kahon, yung mga nagsisigapan, pera o kahon na kahon. No? Pero dito po, sa ating pagpipilian, we always have our Lord to help us, to guide us, at para turuan tayo kung ano ang pipiliin. And so that the man that is the message in today's second reading, it's uh, wisdom. Wisdom is God's gift to us. Di po ba? Ang wisdom po yan ang uh, nagtuturo sa atin to know the difference, to know what is right and what is wrong. No? Wisdom is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Kaya magpasalamat po tayo na alam natin na sa ating pagpili, araw-araw ay andito lagi sa atin ang Espiritu Santo para turuan tayo. All we need is to cooperate with the grace of God. Kasi makikita natin everything is grace. That salvation is God's gift to us. No, isang regalo sa atin ng Diyos. So, mga kapatid, dito po ay yung gospel natin ngayon. Di po ba? Uh, sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, I came not to abolish the law and the prophet, but to fulfill it. At kung ating maalaala, no, nung ang ating Panginoon ay uh, nagbagong anyo doon sa bundok ng Tabor, ng Tabor, ay sa kanyang lumitaw itong si Moises at si Prophet Elijah. No? Of course, Moses represents the law and Elijah represents the prophets. Then a voice was heard from heaven, from the Father, this is my beloved son, listen to him. So mga kapatid, maliwanag po no? na ang talagang dapat pa rin nating sundin ay ang ating Panginoon. Siya ang daan, siya ang katotohanan, siya ang buhay. Sabi nga, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Sabi po yun ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, sabi, sinasabi niya sa atin na dapat mas sigit ang ating kabanalan kaysa mga pariseyo at mga eskriba. Diba? Sa, yun ang sabi ng ating Panginoon. Well, ang ating Panginoon coming from a Jewish family ay sinunod din niya ang mga kautusan ng mga Hudyo. Pero uh, unti-unti pinapakita sa kanila ng Panginoon kung ano ang mahalaga, kung ano ang mas importante. Nang po ninyo, sa mga Hudyo, napakarami ng mga kautusan nila. May kautosan sila sa araw ng pamamahinga. Ang daming mga bawal nila. May kautosan sila uh, kung ano ang mga bawal na pagkain. No? Pero yung mga legal precepts at yung mga liturgical ay binigay lang iyon for a specific stage in the history of our salvation para yun sa mga hudyo. Pero pagdating ng ating Panginoon, nagbigay na siya ngayon ng bagong utos, di po ba? At ang utos na yan ay love. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Sabi ni, John, ni, ni Saint John the Apostle, pag nagawa natin ito, sapat na. 
natupad na natin ang mga utos. Kaya nang pagdating ng ating Panginoon, awang-awa siya sa mga tao dahil sabi niya, they are like sheep without a shepherd. Ang daming mga kautusan. Pero nakafocus lang o uh, concern lang sila doon sa external observance of the law. To the letter of the to the to the to the letter of the law, whereas what our Lord really is uh, asking from each one is that we observe or we will live the very spirit of the law, and that is love. Tipo ba? Kaya nga ito po ang talagang ibinibigay niya sa atin pag-ibig. Love is. The main is splendor thing. Yeah, no? nang, ba, nang dahil sa pag-ibig, tayo'y nabubuhay. Amen? Ang lungkot naman, no? Na ikaw ay nabubuhay na uh, hindi nagmamahal o hindi minamahal. Because we were all born to love and to be loved. Di po ba? Ay kailangan natin yun. So ito po ang kailangan kailangan. At ito ang ang, ang kautusan na ibinigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. And the reason why we are here is because we want to join our Lord as He offers Himself to the Father. At syempre, ang dapat nating ialay kung tayo'y narito man ay isang puso na talagang andun ang pagiging ang, ang isang pusong tapat sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Yan ang unang pagbasa, no? Ang ating pagiging tapat. Kaya nga, Ah, tingnan ninyo kung paano naging perfect ang kautusan na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, kung noon ang sinasabi, huwag kang pumatay, ngayon, pati na yung galit mo, na nag-uumpisa mo lang yan sa galit, no? At dahil sa galit na yun, nagagawa mo ang isang kasalanan, ay kasalanan na sa ating Panginoon. That's why sabi nga ng Panginoon, kung ikaw ay mag-aalay at doon na alaala mo na may sama ng loob ka pala sa puso mo. Di po ba? May, may galit ka sa iyong kapwa o siya may galit sa iyo. Uh, leave your offering first and go to that to your neighbor and be reconciled with him. Then after that, you go back and Ialay mo na yung gusto mong i- i- a- magpatuloy ka na sa pag-aalay at yun ay magiging kalugod-lugod sa Diyos. Amen? Okay. Hindi naman tayo aalis dito para hanapin yung taong yun. Eh, baka kakaunti na lang matitira dito, baka wala nang matira. <laughs> no. Pero right now, let us pray for that person. Isama na natin siya ngayon sa ating pag-aalay. Sabihin mo, Lord, help me. I really want to forgive him now from my heart because I love you so much and this is what you are asking from me right now. Di ba? Eh, di pa nalangin natin yung taong yun. Di ba ang ating Panginoon langing on the cross? Sabi niya, Lord, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Di ba sabi ni Lord, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. Mga kapatid, kung sa ngayon, ipanalangin natin yung taong iyon dahil sinusunod natin siya, magiging kalugod-lugod ang ating pag-aalay ngayon. Amen? Yeah, no? So mga kapatid, sundin lang natin ang ating Panginoon na tayo magiging masaya, tayo magiging uh, mapayapa. Uuwi tayo ngayon at uh, handa ng course. Andiyan pa rin, masakit pa rin, pero may, gin, may nagawa na tayo para sa At least, we made a decision. Dahil yun ang hinihingi niya. Ipapanalangin ko siya. Amen? So yun. Kaya mga kapatid, muli, lahat ng ito ay galing dapat sa puso. Our Lord looks at the heart. Hindi doon sa panglabas, kundi ang puso mismo ang tinitinan ng Panginoon. Hindi man natin alam kung ano yung nasa puso ng katabi mo, di po ba? Pero alam ng Panginoon. Ialay natin ang puso natin. If it's still attached to our will, let's offer it to Him. 
And surely our Lord will bring, give it back to us already aligned to His will. Di ba ba? Ando na siya. Ando ng pag-ibig. So, mga kapatid, ito po. No? Sabi nga niya eh, kung ang nagiging sani ng iyong, uh, ng iyong pagkakasala ay ang iyong kamay, putulin mo. Kung ang nagiging sani ay iyong mataw, dukitin mo. Di po ba? Ay baka naman, pag ating ininterpret literally ito, eh, marami nang naglalakad na isang kamay na lang. O kaya, <laughs> wala na yung, di po ba? O, sama na tayo doon. Pero, yun nga, gusto ng Panginoon, ayusin natin. Ang dapat ayusin. Ang napaka-importante. At yan ang puso. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Kung ano yung nasa puso, yun din ang lalabas sa atin. Amen? So mga kapatid, nawa, pakinggan natin ang Panginoon. Ano ang sinasabi niya gawin natin? Alam po ninyo, napakabilis natin. We are so quick Pag, na mag-react sa mga tulad alin po, coronavirus, di po ba? Napakabilis natin. Kasi ayaw nating maapektuhan noon. Di po ba? Yeah, nakamas tayo. Ah, sinusunod natin lahat ng mga naririnig natin, pati na sa simbahan nga eh, di po ba? Kaya tayo ay nagkukumunyon yan ngayon by the hand. No? At uh, ang pari ngayon, di na nagpapabless na hawak ang kamay. Kundi ganun. No? Ay, yan ay pag-iingat. Yan ay dahil din sa pagmamahal, pag-ibig. No? Napakaraming virus. Pero, wag nating kalimutan ng spiritual virus na nakakamatay din. Di po ba? Kung tayo mabilis mag-react dito sa mga virus, no, coronavirus, nawa, doon sa spiritual virus, ay mabilis din tayong mag-react. Amen? Alam natin kung ano yon, Di po ba? At ngayon, pinaalalahanan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Sumuli po, love tayo ni Lord. Let us just open our hearts to Him. We know it is very hard to overcome our weaknesses. We cannot do it just by relying on ourselves. We need our Lord. We need His grace. All we have to do is open our hearts. Cooperate with His grace. Amen. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Spirit of God scrutinizes our inner thoughts and longings. Through the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Heavenly Father for our needs and those of others as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may be like Jesus, who is pure of heart and totally dedicated to Father's will. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That our civil leaders may set examples of honesty, uprightness, and willing service. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may come to know and love God more, so as to obey His commandments willingly and joyfully. We pray, Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. That we may shun anger and resolve conflicts, problems, and differences through dialogue and mutual respect. We pray, Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. That we may be honest and make good our pledges and promises that we may never accuse others falsely. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, 
Let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble petitions. Jesus, your Son, was totally dedicated to you. Help us to follow him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my Please sacrifice stand. and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. those who cannot kneel, kindly place your right hand over your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the skips, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Milo Hubert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, this day, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you. Hey! 
Please rise. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all thank Father Mar for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Again, we thank our Lord for not only showing us the way, but for the grace to follow the way. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Direct your people, O Lord, we pray with heavenly instruction that by avoiding every evil and pursuing all that is good, you may all earn not, not your anger, but your unending mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Good morning, peace be good now. Let us all rise up. Come on. And as you rise up, kamustahin mo naman yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, kamusta ang Valentine's mo. <laughs> okay. Sino dito yung may mga kadate ng Valentine's? Patigin nga. Ayan. Sino yung mga walang kadate? You know what? That's okay. It is a great day to celebrate God's love because God's love won't let you down. And if you believe this, let us now come into worship. Come on. Put your hands together. Let us be one now and celebrate God. Come on. When I was searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper leading me to your heart. And today, hindi pa tapos ang Valentine's natin. And the reason why we are here is because of God's love. If you, you believe that? Please speak with you believe that God brought you here to experience His love? Love is so good. God's love is so good. And sometimes it's funny that we feel that kahit anong pagpaparamdam sa atin ng Diyos, mas nakikita pa rin natin yung mga bagay na nakapagpa-feel sa atin. Nakulang pa rin. Sometimes we feel hindi pa rin sapat. But then again, isn't it weird that every Sunday you are dragged here, hindi mo alam bakit. And I know because it is God's love, His love that He manifested thousand years ago through that cross 
His love, saying that you are worth dying for. Can you say that to yourself? Come, put your hands over your heart and say, I am worth dying for. I am worth dying for. And that's how God loves you. God is so in love with you. Come now, we worship Him with all our hearts, filled with God's love. Let us now come into prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we thank you for giving us your life to us. You love us so much that you have offered your life to us. Remind us of that you came down from heaven, that you have sacrificed your glory. Come on, we see. Your whole love it knows no It goes on, it won't run out. You hold on, it found me here. Made a
I don't know what you are going through right now. Maybe you're going through problems. Maybe you're going through sickness. Maybe you are going through a heartbreak. Maybe you're going through debts. I don't know what's going on in your life right now. But let me tell you this. There is one name that is greater than anything that you are going through right now. And that name is the name of... Shout it out. That's the name of... Jesus. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're most powerful than anything that we are going through right now. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Tapikin mo nga yung katabi mo, sabihin mo sa kanya, God's powerful. God is powerful. Amen. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo, kamusta kaya ang Valentine's Day niyan? Ayan. Sabi nila, dalawang uri lang ng tao ang meron nung Friday, Valentine's Day. Una, yung nilalanggam. Sobrang sweet. Pangalawa, nilalamok. Mag-isa lang eh. Kaya tinan mo nga katabi mo, nilanggam ba yan o nilamok? Kung single yung katabi mo, bilan mo ng katol mamaya pag-uwi, ha? Ayan. Are there any first-timers in this place? Meron bang first time mag-attend ngayon sa feast? Meron ba? Taas ang kamay. Ayan, palakpakan naman natin sila. Welcome to the feast. Thank you for coming. Sa mga first-timers po, my name is Brother Velden Lim. I am the feast builder. I am the preacher here. I preach every Sunday here. I'm also the leader here in this community. And sa mga first-timers po, meron po kaming welcome gift para sa inyo. Meron kaming regalo. Please go there at the back after the feast. Meron po kaming ibibigay sa inyo. And so we can also welcome you formally. I would also like to greet all those who are watching online via Facebook Live. Hope you can come with us. Come here at the feast so you can join us and experience how powerful and how magical it is to be here in the presence of God's people. But while you're watching, please pray for us and we hope that you are also hearing God's word and you'll learn from this talk. Ayan. And for all of you who came here in this place, let me tell you this. Hindi ko alam kung nilalanggam kayo o nilamok kayo nung Valentine's Day, but let me tell you this, you came to the right place. Single man o hindi, bakit? Dito sa feast, siguradong may nagmamahal dyan sa katabi mo, si Lord. Amen? And that's what we do here at the feast. We just receive the love of God, the mercy of God, the grace and the blessings of God. And before we start our feast, let's pray our favorite prayer here. Together, let's make the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lift your hands and pray this with me. Together, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings healing and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor God's Word. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light Unto my path. Brothers and sisters, we continue our series, Dawn of an Era, Prepare the Way for a New Life. And in the past two weeks, if you have been with us, we have been asking the question, how can I call people to repentance? Paano natin tatawagin yung mga tao na nakikita natin sinisira ng kasalanan? Kasi yan po ang totoo, sin destroys people. Ang nakakalungkot po, maraming mga tao, ang mentalidad nila pag nakakita sila ng tao nagkakasala, ang iniisip nila kagad ay, bahala siya sa buhay niya, walang basagan ng trip. Kung gusto niyang sirain ang buhay niya, edi eh bahala siya, buhay naman yan. Buhay naman niya yan, tama? Ganyan ang mentalidad ng maraming tao ngayon. But I believe in this, the most, one of the most painful things to see is to see the people we love being destroyed by their own sin. 
It could be your best friend. It could be your cousin. Pwede yung anak mo yan. O kaya, lalo na kung asawa mo yan, sinisira ng kasalanan. And I believe all of us here in this place, you would want to know, how can I help my loved one, help him find his way back to God? Gusto nyo ba yun? Natanong nyo na ba yun? Yung iba sa inyo dito, mag-isa lang kayo umaaten, hindi nyo kasama yung asawa ninyo. And I believe one of your prayers is to bring your spouse closer to the Lord. So itong tanong, how do we do that? How can we bring them back to the Lord? How can we call people to repentance? At yan ang patuloy nating pag-uusapan ngayong araw na ito. And the title of my talk today is Not Just Leave. Sabihin nyo nga. Oh, weird, no? Medyo tinatry natin, medyo creative title. Mamay, explain ko bakit yan ang title natin. Malalaman natin as we read our word for today. Our reading is from Matthew chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. Let me read this while you are reading it on the screen. John the Baptist prepares the way. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch him baptize, he denounced them. You brood of snakes, he exclaimed. Who warned you to flee of the coming wrath? Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we are safe. For we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing. For I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. Sabi nyo nga, good fruit. Yeah. I baptized with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not worthy even to be a slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. Of course, John the Baptist is referring to Jesus. You see, my dear friends, sabi niya dito, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. You see, ang mga puno po, meron mga puno, punong-puno ng dahon. Pero meron mga puno na punong-puno ng bunga. Bakit not just leaves ang title ng talk na ito? Kasi I believe in this. Ayaw ng Diyos na tayo, tara tayong mga puno eh. Ayaw ng Diyos na tayo ay punong-puno lang ng dahon. Gusto ng Diyos meron tayong bunga. We need to produce good fruit. And that is our prayer for today. That our lives will bear so much fruit that it will not only bless us, not only our families, but it will bless the world. Amen? Can I invite you into prayer? Close your eyes, bow down your heads, put your hands over your heart. Say this prayer after me. Jesus, thank you for bringing me here today. I don't want to be just a beautiful tree with many leaves. I want to be fruitful. Grant me the grace and the willingness to bear good fruit so I can lead others back to you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. Praise you, Jesus. Speak to us today. As you sit down, tell the person beside you, God will speak to you today. Ang title ng talk ngayon is not just leaves, but my big message for you today is this. I want you to read it on the screen. One, two, three, go. 
Lakasan nyo. Move it. Bakit move it? Mamaya. Malalaman natin kung bakit. You see, there are different kinds of people and some people live in a, number one, the first kind of people, they live in a world of ideas. Sabi nyo idea. They live in a world of concepts, theories. For example, total Valentine's Day, kakatapos lang, pag-usapan natin ang love. For many people, love is just a many concept. Yung iba, naalala nyo dun sa slam book ninyo nung bata tayo, di ba? Meron tinatanong dyan, what is love? Iba-iba ang sagot. Yung iba, love is blind. Yung iba, kung ano-anong kabaduyan. Love is like a rosary full of mysteries. Mga ganyang kabaduyan, di ba? Kung ano-ano pinagsasabi ninyo dyan. But for so many people, love is just a concept. Naalala ko tong isang babae na ito, lumapit sa akin, she was cheated on by his boyfriend for four times. Apat na beses po. And so, lumapit siya sa akin, sabi niya, Brother, ano bang gagawin ko dito sa, sa boyfriend kong ito? Apat na beses na ako nang niloko. Sabi ko sa kanya, apat na beses ka na pala niloko, edi hiwalayan mo na. Nagdudusa ka. Ang lumayan, sabi niya sa akin, eh, kasi brother, eh, tuwing niloloko niya ako at nahuhuli ko siya at sasabihin ko sa kanya, tama na, I need to move on, maghiwalay na tayo. He will beg me to stay, magmamakaawa at sasabihin sa akin na ikaw talaga ang mahal ko. Siyempre, ang pagsinabi niyo, ako talaga ang mahal niya. Diba? Kanya yung maraming, ibang ganyan lalaki, di ba? Di ba, ang ikaw, kumbaga, Han, ikaw ang aking chinelas. So, susuot ako ng maraming sapatos, pero pagdating sa bahay, chinelas ang uuwian ko. Ganyan! And you, sabi niya sa akin, what should I do, bro? I told her the brutal fact. Sabi ko sa kanya, ito ha, no sugar coating. Sabi ko sa iyo, ang totoo, alam mo, hindi ka mahal niyan. Don't believe his words. Believe his actions. Yun ang tingnan mo. Because I believe in this, my dear friends, for many people, love is a concept, but love, the truth is this, love is a verb. It's a verb. It's an action word. And I believe, let me tell you this, sa mga, mga tao dito, meron kayong kakilala dito, I'm sure meron dito at least isang single na nasa gitna ng it's complicated na relationship. Tama o Tama. No, yan. Umami na siya. Di ba? Kapag ka, inagtataka ka, kami na ba o hindi? Kami na ba o hindi? Sabihin ko sa iyo, hindi kayo. Because love should be crystal clear. Because words without actions, okay, sasabihin niya sa iyo, mahal ka niya. Pero kung walang actions, words, love with, love with words but without actions is incomplete. However, love with just actions and without words, walang official, walang label, it's confusing. Kaya kalitong-lito, kami na ba? O oh, hindi. Kaya pag nakakita ka, bigla meron siyang nilike na ibang photo sa Instagram at sinachat siya na ibang nagsiselos ka. Bakit? Kasi hindi ko alam kami na ba? O oh, hindi. Kasi hindi klaro. But let me tell you this, love should be crystal clear. Sad to say, many people live in a world of concepts. Nasa konsepto lang sa kanilang pagmamahal. Ganun lang. And that's, that. Same thing goes with people who know a lot of concepts and ideas. Pero hindi naman ine-execute. Ang daming mga ganyang tao. Marami kayong ganyang kaibigan, yung mga arkitekto. Uy, alam mo, ang ganda sa guro. Mag-outing tayo sa ganyan. Panay plano, panay drawing. Hindi natutuloy. Wala namang gawa. Puro plano lang. Some people live in the world of ideas. However, the second type of people, they live in a world of feelings. Sabi nyo nga, feelings. Ay, nako. Marami mga tao, binabase ang kanilang buhay sa kanilang nararamdaman lang. Naalala ko itong mag-asawang kakilala ko, naghiwalay sila. Bakit? Ba't kayo naghiwalay? Sabi nyo sa akin, kasi bro, wala nang spark. Sabi ko sa kanya, we fell out of love. Sabi ko sa kanya, spark pala hinahanap mo eh. Sana humanap ka ng live wire. Yun ang pinakasalan mo. Mangisay ka hanggang sa makbuha mo lahat ng spark. You see, I believe in this. All people will eventually fall out of love. And I wish every couple, sino dito sa inyo ang, sorry ah, sino dito ang mga single pa at gustong mag-asawa? Taas ang kamay. Mga single, gustong mag-asawa. Kung ayaw mag-asawa, hindi na talaga yung mag- Kung hindi nyo itaas ang kamay, hindi na talaga yung magkakaasawa kailanman. Taas yung kamay nyo ha. Ayan. Gusto nyo pala mag-asawa. Alam nyo, wish ko lang 
Sana lahat ng mga bago lahat ng mga magjowa bago sila ikasal sana mabigyan ko sila itong wish ko sana may magregalo sa kanila na at ng tatlong malaking poster na merong mga quotes truthful hard quotes tapos nakasabit sa kanilang bed, bedroom wall para maalala nila at ito ito yung mga tatlong poster na yon first poster sana ito ang nakasulat you will fall out of love Sa mga mag-asawa dito, alam niyo yung sinasabi ko. Tama? Parang itong isang mag-asawa, isang, yung mister, sabi niya, alam mo bro, nung bago kaming kasal, ay nako, yung pag-uwi ko sa bahay, galing trabaho, pag-uwi ko dun, yung misis ko ang lambing-lambing. Pagkapasok, pagkapasok ko sa pinto, binibit-bit niya yung chinelas ko, dadali niya sa akin para maisuot ko. Habang pagkalagay niya sa akin, kasabay niya yung aso, tumatahol dito sa tabi. Ang sarap ng uwi ko. Ang problema ito, after five years, pag ako'y umuwi ng bahay, yung aso ko ang nagdadala ng chinelas, yung misis ko na yung tumatahol. Baligtad na. Bakit? Nawala yung spark. Fell out of love. You see, you will fall out of love. It's inevitable. It will happen. You cannot do anything about it. Kaya mga mag-asawa dito, wag na kayong magugulat. Kung bakit ko no? parang hindi na ako masyadong malang asawa ko. Parang he fell out of love. She fell out of love. Ganun talaga. You will fall out of love. Poster number two is this. Sana nakasulat doon. Falling in love is not love. Ay, ayan ha. Sa mga kabataan dito ha, pakinggan nyo yung sasabihin ko. If this is new to you, now you know. Falling in love is different from love, ha? Because falling in love is all about infatuation. And there's a huge difference. Sabi nyo, infatuation. Falling in love is being attracted to a projection of yourself. Anong ibig ko sabihin dito? You are not really in love with a real person. Kanino ka in love? In love ka dun sa imaginary person na kinreate ng utak mo. So meron kang, yung, meron kang nakarasyan kasi merong spark. Pero, min, hindi mo pa siya kilalang kilala, pero sa utak mo, sana ganito siya. Sana responsable siya. Sana maganda siya. Sana hindi siya, hindi, hindi siya tumataba. Sana mabuti siyang tao. Sana ganito. Sana sweet siya. Sana thoughtful siya. Meron kang idea. Naintindihan niyo sinasabi ko? Kaya ito ang problema. Kapag nasa falling in love stage ka pa lang, kahit na anong negative comment ng mga mabubuti mong kaibigan at mga kapamilya mo, anong ginagawa mo? Pilit mong dinedefend siya. Kahit alam mo naman na tama yung sinasabi nila. Am I making sense here? Sinabi sa'yo ng nanay, tatay, huwag kang pumatol dyan, adik yan. Hindi, hindi siya adik. Minsan, minsan lang. <laughs> di ba? In denial eh, di ba? Kasi maaaring in denial ka pa, kaya pilit mong sinushoot siya dun sa ideal guy mo, ideal girl mo. Hindi siya yung tamang tao. Am I making sense here? That's why we fall in love with the figment of our imagination. Example, Mer, yung manliligaw mo, sweet and thoughtful siya. So, oh, manliligaw ko, talagang sweet siya, tsaka talagang thoughtful siya. Ang sipag niya, bakit? Lahat daw gagawin niya para sa akin. Sabi niya sa akin, susungkitin daw niya ang mga bituin. Ano mang bundok, aakyatin. Kahit ilang dagat ay tatawirin. Ang sweet niya. Ang sabi ng mga kaibigan mo, bolero yan. Kung paniwalaan yan, ay nako. Pero alam mo, ito sasabihin ko sa inyo, darating ang panahon, when the spark goes away, sasampalin ka ng realidad. Bakit? Makikita mo lahat ng baho at weakness at kapalpakan ng partner mo. And one day, sabi mo, di ba, lahat gagawin niya para sa akin. One day, magre-request ka, mag-asawa na kayo. Pwede mo ba akong ikuha ng tubig sa baba? Pwede mo bang ipatay yung ilaw? Ang sasagot niya sa'yo, tinatamad ako eh. Ang sarap sana sabihin, may nalalaman ka pang susungkitin ang mga bituin, bundok, aakyatin, dagat, tatawirin, eh kumuha lang ng tubig, di mo kayang gawin. <laughs> Hindi ko sinasabing kwento to naming mag-asawa, pero parang ganun na nga. Di ba? <laughs> Bakit? Lalabas at lalabas ang baho, maiinis ka, mawawala ang spark, you will fall out of love. But the question is this, is this a bad thing? 
Actually, this is a good thing. Why? Kasi ito na yung point na magde-decision ka. Ito na yung point that can pave the way for real love kasi magde-decision ka. Itutuloy mo pa ba? Talaga bang mahal mo na siya? Because love is a decision. And here's the poster number three that I would like for all couples to have in their homes. Sana nakasulat doon, when you fall out of love and still love, that's real love. Ah, yung pala yun. Because real love is action done again and again and again. Kaya minsan yung misis ko, kahit hindi ko pinapatay yung ilaw, hindi niya ako iniiwan. Ah, kasi nag na siya na ano, kahit tatamad-tamad to minsan, ayaw ako ikuha ng tubig, buntis pa naman ako. Mahal ko pa rin siya. Naintindihan yung sinasabi ko? Kaya natutuwa ako, meron isang kaibigan nag-post siya sa Facebook. Ito, nung Valentine's Day lang. Bas- basahin nyo sabay-sabay. One, two, three, go! Shout out! Pag Valentine's, pero pag ibang araw naman, di ka tinatrato ng maayos. Tingnan mo kaya katabi mo. Ganyan ba ang jowa niya? Kaya ako, nung Valentine's Day, hindi ako bumili ng bulaklak. Sabi ko sa misis ko, tinatrato naman kita na maayos araw-araw, di ba? Ganyan talaga pag kuripot ka. What you see? Real love is not an idea or a feeling. Real love is an action done again and again. Real love is commitment. Real love is habitual service. Real love is waking up early in the morning para ipagluto mo yung pamilya mo when all you want to do is to stay for five, ten more minutes under your blanket. That's real love. Real love is teaching your kids their homework kahit na gustong gusto mong manood ng paborito mong k-drama. Real love is going to work even if you are feeling lazy because that's who you are. You are committed to your family. You are committed to your boss, to your company, to your colleagues, to your customers. That is real love. When you choose to do it even if you don't feel like doing it. Am I making sense here? Because real love is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Now, why am I talking about these things? Anong connection nito sa repentance? Kasi naniniwala ko, repentance should be redefined. And the question that we are answering in this series is that, how do we call another person to repentance? Paano natin sila ilalapit kay Lord? And in the past two weeks, dalawang bagay ang tinuro ko sa inyo. Two weeks ago, I told you, in order to call people to repentance, we need to come from a place of mercy. Can you say mercy? And number two, last week, ang pinag-usapan natin, if we want to call people to a life of repentance, we need to come from a place of authenticity. Sabi nyo authenticity. At sinabi ko sa inyo, you need to live an inspiring life. Be real, be you, so that you can encourage and inspire others to follow Jesus. But today, I'd like to give you the third platform. And that platform is that you need to come from a place of practicality. Sabi nyo nga, practicality. Parang ganito. Ayan. Ayusin mo, decision mo sa buhay. Ang bulaklak, 2 five. Ang bigas, 2-5. mag ka. Hindi ko sinasabing masama magbigay ng bulaklak. In fact, okay talaga yan. Pero, you see, come to think of it, sometimes, love should be really practical. Because at the end of the day, your sweet words will not feed your family. Your sweet words will not actually uh, make you change your life. At yan ang problema kasi. For many people, ito na, repentance simply mean feeling bad for something we did wrong. Nagkamali ka, ang sama ng kalooban mo. But I believe in this, repentance has got to do more with action than emotion. Can you say action? Ganun ang repentance. Action more than emotion. Alam nyo, ito ha, napansin ko lang, dito sa feast, ang daming mga tao pumupunta dito, nararamdaman nilang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Tama ba ako? 
kaya kayo nandito. Merong mga lumalapit sa akin pagkatapos ng feast, lumalapit sa akin, brother, grabe, ang tagal kong di naramdaman si Lord sa buhay ko, pero nung sa feast kanina, mayakiyak pa ako sa worship. Tamang-tama ko si Lord dito. And I was inspired to change. Tapos yung mga mali ko sa buhay ko, parang gusto kong paguin kasi nagilti ako. You see, many people here at the feast, they come with so much emotional high with the Lord. Pero alam nyo, ito nakakalungkot. After nung one time na yun na nakita ko sila, hindi na sila bumabalik sa feast. Bakit? Anong nangyayari? They don't go back to the feast regularly. Sabay BSDU. Alam nyo yung BSDU? Tanong nyo sa akin, ano? BSDU. Balik sa dating ugali. Ganun pa rin sila. Bakit? Para sa kanila, repentance is just, hmm, kaagilti. Gusto ko magbago. But you see, what is repentance? In Greek, repentance means metanoia. Sabi nyo nga, metanoia. At anong ibig sabihin ng metanoia? Metanoia means change of the heart and change of the mind. Metanoia means you are walking in one direction, papunta ka dyan, papunta ka sa mali, and then you turn around and start walking in the opposite direction. Mayroong pagbabago, mayroong pagbabalik loob. Ang tanong ko sa inyo ngayong araw na ito, some of us here, you have been in the feast for so many, so, for so long already, but sometimes naliligaw tayo ng landas. Tama? Ang tanong ko, are you moving in the wrong direction? Are you moving in the wrong direction? You need to repent. You need to change directions. You need to change your ways. And here's what John the Baptist told us. Kanina do sa binasa natin. Sabi ni John the Baptist, repentance should be proven by the way you live. Sabi niya, prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Kailangan mong patunayan. Pero sad to say, for many people, repentance is just an idea or a feeling. Na ano, yun nga mo. Kakagilty. Gusto ko na magbago. In my heart, gusto ko na talagang sundin si Lord. Ay, sorry, hindi ah. Bigyan ko kayo ng example. Sino sa inyo dito ang nautangan na? Merong taong merong may utang sa inyo. Taas nga ang kamay. Sige. Tatanungin ko si, si Ate Ruth. Ate Ruth, eto lang ah. Halimbawa, merong yung, sinong taong may utang sa'yo? Mga... Hindi, wag mo... Mga classmate ko ng college. Mga classmate mo ng college, nandito ba sila? Wala. Hal- halimbawa lang, halimbawa lang. Umatin sila dito sa feast one day, ha? Tapos talagang binago sila ni Lord. Tapos talagang naramdaman nila yung pag-ibig ni Lord. At sinabi niya sa inyo, um, Ate Ruth, thank you ha, for bringing me here to the feast. Alam mo, guilty-guilty talaga ako kasi naram- na feel na feel ko. Nahirapan ka pala sa buhay mo kasi hindi ako nagbayad ng utang. Sorry ha, hindi ako nakapagbayad sa iyo ng utang ha. Anong sasabihin mo? Anong gagawin mo? Sorry talaga ha. Anong gagawin mo? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. Kasi yung mga may utang sa akin, pinorgive ko na sila eh. So, pinorgive mo na. Oh. Mm-hmm. Pero kung sabi niya, sorry talaga, pero pwede bang di ko nabayaran yung utang? Nagsisi na ako eh. <laughs> okay lang? Yung maliit yung mga utang, pwede na. Pwede, pero oh. yung sana yung malaki yung utang magbayad. <laughs> Kasi, Thank you. di na papambili yung sorry. Yan! Ayan, palakpakan natin! nag Nagagets yun sinasabi ko? Ang repentance, dapat merong karampatang aksyon. Hindi pwede, oh, sorry talaga. Oh, yung nabugbog, binugbog ka ng asa mo. Oh, kanina sa face, natouch ako. Sorry ha, nabugbog kita, pero mahal talaga kita. Binugbog ang, oh, sorry ulit ha. Ay, kung talaga nagrepent yan, hindi ka nabubugbogin yan dapat. Naintindihan yung sinasabi ko? That's real repentance. You change your ways. Don't just be sorry and say, say sorry for, for you're moving in the wrong direction. Don't just say, I'm sorry, ang sama ko talagang tao, nakaka-guilty. You need to do something. You need to pick up your feet and then you need to turn around and you need to move it. Tapikan mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, move it. 
Kumilos ka. Because this is what John the Baptist is telling us. Anong sabi ni John the Baptist? Sabi niya, even now the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. Baliwala yung repentance mo, yung pagiging guilty mo kung hindi ka kikilos, kung walang fruit na magbubunga galing dun sa nararamdaman mo. Am I making sense here? Now, let me go deeper. Ang title ng talk natin is not just leaves. Sa puno, merong two major parts ang puno. The leaves and the fruits. Obvious na obvious, di ba? And in our spiritual life, there are also two obvious parts. That's religious behavior and then relational behavior. Now, what is the purpose of the leaf? Let me connect the two. What is the purpose of the leaf? According to my science teacher, when I was in grade 3, Sabi ng science teacher ko, the leaf is the food factory of the world. Anong ibig niya sabihin dito? Kasi ang, ang leaf daw, yung mga dahon daw, it manufactures food for the plant through the process of photosynthesis. Naks, di ba? Sabi niyo nga, photosynthesis. Huwag kayong magalala, hindi ko rin siya masyadong kayang ispell. So, i-explain ko na lang sa inyo in a simple way. In one sense, itong photosynthesis na to, using the sunlight, etc., etc., minamanufacture nung dahon yung sunlight, yung energy, at kinoconvert niya yon so that the tree will one day bear fruits. So, therefore, yung dahon, dahil sa dahon, nagkakaroon ng bunga. And for, dahil tayo Pilipino, gagawin ko na ng example ay atis. Sabi nyo nga atis. Halimbawa, ang atis, ang sarap-sarap ng atis. Anong connection yan? So halimbawa, itong si John the Baptist, he spoke to the Pharisees. Itong mga Pariseo na to, they, these are guys who are very religious. That's why, for the purposes of this talk, we are equating the leaves to religious behavior. Anong ibig kong sabihin dito? Halimbawa, yung dahon ng atis, yun na ang nagpa-process para magkaroon ng dahon, para magkaroon, sorry, ng bunga na atis. In the same way in our lives, leaves equates to religious behavior. Ano yung religious behavior na yan? That's our praying, pagpunta sa church, pagsisimba, reading the Bible, etc. Bakit? Because leaves are supposed to absorb the sun's energy to nourish the fruits, in the same way, yung mga religious activities, religious habits natin, they are supposed to absorb the love of God so that it can nourish the fruit of our life. Am I making sense here? For example, ako, nagdadasal ako araw-araw. I read the Bible daily. I go to the feast weekly. I even serve here. And I go to small groups weekly too. But you see, Itong mga religious activities na ito, though they are very important because through them, I receive the power and the presence of God. However, lahat ng presence and power na yan na nakukuha ko kay Lord, baliwala yan kung walang bunga, kung walang fruits. Kaya nga sabi ni John the Baptist, kailangan yung mga puno na hindi nagpo-produce ng good fruit shall be chopped down and thrown into the fire. Because fruit trees can have lots of leaves, but if there are no fruits, they are useless, baliwala. Pero ngayon, kailangan natin itanong, anong klaseng bunga yung hinahanap natin? What is the fruit? Tanong nyo sa akin, what? The fruit is this. Actually, St. Paul tells us in Galatians, the fruit of the Spirit. Sabi dito, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Ano-ano daw? Love. Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Ang ganda. Don't you notice? All these are not religious behavior. They are relational behavior. Ano-ano yun? Peace, joy, love, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Lahat yan para sa pakikitungo natin sa ibang tao. The fruit is all about how I relate to the people around me. Nakikits pa ako? Nakakasabay pa kayo? That's why here's the simple equation. Leaves is equal to religious behavior. Fruits is equal to relational behavior. Kung paano tayo makitungo. 
And God is telling us today, He is not looking for leaves. He's looking for fruits. Fruits, not leaves. Sabi mo sa katabi mo yan, fruits, not leaves. Again, hindi ko sinasabing hindi importante ang mga dahon na yan. I'm not saying na hindi na kayo magsimba, na wag na kayong tumanggap ng mga sakramento, na wag na kayong magbasa ng Bible, na wag na kayong magdasal araw-araw. Hindi ko po sinasabi yun, ha? All of those, they are very important. Pero, eto, hindi yun ang punot dulo ng lahat. At the end of the day, are you becoming more loving? Are you more joyful? Are you more patient? Are you more gentle? Are you more kind? Are you more faithful? You need to ask yourself because it's not enough to be religious. Tanungin mo yung sarili mo, am I a faithful husband? Am I a faithful wife? Am I a loving father? Am I a just and fair boss? O meron akong pinapaburan? Am I a kind friend? Am I a selfless person? Because ultimately, lahat ng ginagawa nating religious activities, para saan? Para bumuti tayo bilang tao. Don't just think it. Don't just feel it. Don't just say it. You need to move it. M- move it. Sabi mo sa katabi mo ulit yan, move it. Now, balikan natin equation. Leaves is equal to religious behavior. Fruits is equal to relational behavior. But here's the thing. Yes, to bear fruit, you need leaves. Pero ito ang totoo. Tanong nyo sa akin, ano? Yung mas walang gana pa dyan? Ayan, thank you. Kaya, gising pa pala. All the leaves in the world cannot bear fruits without the most important ingredient. Walang mangyayaring photosynthesis kung wala pong araw. Kung wala pong sun. In the same way, all our religious behavior and human effort cannot produce the right relational behavior without the source of all power, which is God Himself. Kahit na anong religious behavior ang gawin mo, kung wala naman ang Diyos sa puso mo, hindi yan magbe-bear fruit ng relational behavior. Am I making sense here? Because you need to go back to the source, you need to receive the love of God, in order for you to give love and to be relationally healthy. Kaya ito yung complete equations. Leaves, fruits, and sun. And the sun is God Himself. Amen? Tapikin mo katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, move it. But more importantly, the most important move that you need to do is to move towards Jesus. Can I invite you to stand up? Tapikin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, move towards Him. You see, brothers and sisters, are you learning so far? Alam ko, narinig nyo na ito sa mga luma nating talk, pero it's good to be reminded kasi ang bilis natin makalimot. Tama ba? And that's the beautiful thing about John the Baptist. Si John the Baptist, hindi siya ang bida. Siya ay reminder. Dalawa lang naman ang trabaho ni John the Baptist sa ministry niya. Number one, he called people to repentance. And number two, he pointed people to Jesus. Anong sinasabi ni John the Baptist? Alam nyo kasi yung mga hudyo, yung mga followers ni John the Baptist, ito si John the Baptist, rockstar rito. At ang daming lumalapit sa kanya, pero sa kanya, para sa kanya, huy, hindi akong bida dito. Hindi ako ang solusyon sa lahat ng problema ninyo. Anong sinabi niya? There is someone greater coming after me that I am not even worthy to become a slave and to take off his sandals. Alam niya kasi, klaro sa kanya na ano, kailangan i-point siya, i-point niya yung mga tao kay Jesus. He pointed people to Jesus. And that's what I would like to do today. Yes, continue doing religious stuff. Pray daily. Read the Bible. Go to Mass. Receive sacraments. Go to confession. Have your novenas. Pray the rosary. Lahat yan mabuti. But I, while you are doing it, tanong yung sarili nyo, are you still doing it with God in your mind and in your heart? 
Kasi kung wala si Lord, bali wala din. Let me share to you one last story as I end this talk. One day, in a communist country, Russia, yung iba sa inyo, napakinggan nyo na ito. Sabi nyo nga, Russia, yung kanilang leader, kinumission yung mga general nila para magpunta sa mga farms and then they ask the farmers to plant fruits and crops and dahil alam nyo naman ang Russia, komunista, pag komunista, kukunin ng gobyerno yung mga ani nila tapos i-redistribute para sa mga tao. Ganyan ang komuniste. And so one day, yung isang general, pumunta siya dun sa isang farmer at sabi niya dun sa farmer, Hey, I want you to plant apples in your one hectare of land. And then, sabi ngayon itong farmer, Yes sir, that will be done. And you know what happened the following morning? Itong farmer na ito, nagtanim siya ng apple. The next day, nagtanim siya ng apple. The following day, nagtanim siya ng apple. After 30 days na puno niya, yung isang hektarya ng lupa niya, natamnan niya ng mansanas. However, nakakalungkot kasi kinabukasan in the months that came, biglang bumagyo ng malakas. Talagang nasalanta yung pananim nila. Lubog na lubog. Tapos after so many months, bigla naman naging tagtuyot to the point na bitak-bitak at lupa. Kaya after so many years, not a single apple tree sprouted from the ground. Walang mansanas. And so bumalik ngayon itong general, hahanapin na niya yung mansanas. Kinakaba na itong farmer, sabi niya, paano ko, gaga- paano ko sasabihin dun sa general na walang tumubo na mansanas? Nagaanap siya ng palusot, pero finally, the day that he dreaded finally came. Pumunta yung general, at sabi niya dun sa farmer, sabi niya, Anoski ng Yariski. Sa Mansanaski. Russian eh. Sabi ngayon itong farmer, Oh sir! You mean the apples? Sir, the harvest is good. It almost reached the feet of God. Ganun daw. Napakamot kayo ng ulo itong farmer. Sabi ngayon itong, eh, sorry, no, yung general, sabi ng general, hey, 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 Don't you remember, we are in communist country, Russia. And here in Russia, there is no God. Napangiti ngayon itong farmer. Sabi ng farmer, exactly my point, sir. No God, no apples. Magets nyo, joke yun eh. Pang matalino yung joke na yun. Pa-explain nyo na lang sa katabi nyo kung matalino yan. No God, no apples. Marahil itong farmer na ito, ay nagpapalusot lamang. But you see, there is profound wisdom in, it, in what he is saying. No God, no apples. No God, no fruit. No God, no air to breathe. No God, no food to eat. No God, no families to laugh with and chat with and cherish. No God, no friends to bond with and enjoy with. No God, no job to work in. No God, no business to have. No God, no salvation. No God, no everything. No God, no joy. No God, no fruit. And let me tell you this, my dear friends, if there's no God in your life, we will have nothing. No God, no fruit. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever felt empty in your life? Yung gigising ka sa umaga, tininan mo, may pera ka naman sa bangko, may pamilya ka, okay naman yung trabaho mo, may nasusuot ka, para bagang kompleto na, nasa iyo na ang lahat. Pero para bagang kulang. Na-feel nyo na yun. Can you see, my dear friends, Maybe, just maybe, baka siya na lang ang kulang. Baka siya yung kulang. Because the truth is this, all the money, all the success, all the comfort, all the fame in this world will mean nothing without Jesus. Move towards Him. Because no God, no Jesus, no joy. No Jesus, no fullness of life.
all our efforts will mean nothing kung wala ang Diyos sa sentro ng buhay natin. Can I invite you to surrender your all to the Lord today? Close your eyes, bow down your head. Let me pray for you. Father in heaven, we come back to you. We move towards you. You are our sun. We are your plants, needing your love, needing your mercy, needing your power, needing your presence in our life. For we know, Lord, there's nothing that we can do to make our lives better, O Lord. We may have everything in this world, but at the end of the day, Lord, only by your grace, only by your power, only by your mercy, can we be filled, can we become whole, can we become complete, O Lord. And so, Lord, today, we just want to gaze upon you, your greatness, your power, for all we need is you. And with you, we declare... There's nothing that it can stop us. All we need is you. We are invincible in your eyes. We are invincible in your presence. All these, Father, we declare in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's sing.
your name most powerful is your name oh lord give us the grace lord to move to turn our lives toward you so can so we can move towards you all these father we ask and pray in jesus name amen amen Let's give the Lord a big hand. Praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. Can I invite you now to lift up your novena to God's love? If you have them, if you don't have them, just lift up your hands, lift up your dreams to the Lord. And say this prayer after me. Father in heaven, I lift up to you my dreams. I pray that these dreams will move me towards you to become more dependent on your grace more than our strength for we know if we have you all these dreams will come true this we pray in jesus name amen amen give the lord a big hand praise your name thank you jesus thank you lord move towards jesus Move it, move it, move it. Yeah. Did God speak to you today? Let's give the Lord a big hand once again. Thank you, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. Can I invite you to please be seated for a while? And let's just give the Lord some gratitude, some thanksgiving for the blessings that we have received this past week. Think of a blessing or two for the next 15 seconds on how God blessed you this week. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us. Hallelujah. Woo. While we are preparing for our giving, while you're writing your names and your, your prayer petitions and your love offering envelopes, let me give you some important announcements. Next week, dito pa rin po tayo sa TCU. In fact, for the whole month of February, dito pa rin po tayo sa TCU. And talk for ang title po ay Probinsyano. Sabi nyo nga, Probinsyano. Grabe no? We weird ng mga title ng mga talk natin. So, to find out kung ano yan, please don't be absent next week. Tapi mo katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, see you next week. Alright. Now, calling all the ladies here in the house, the feast alabang, so sorry, the jewels alabang is delighted to announce their upcoming event for the first quarter of the year entitled, Restore Yourself Through Self-Care. Sabi nyo nga, self-care. This will be on February 23, next Sunday na po yan, at 1.30 p.m. After po ng feast natin, pwede kayong dumiretso doon, at the 2020 Room in Bellevue Hotel. The speaker is a family life specialist, psychologist, guidance counselor, and award-winning author. She's my, a good friend of mine, si Dr. Ichel Alignay. This event is for free. Libre po ito. So we hope to see you there. If you are interested, Please go there next week, February 23 at 1.30 p.m. Ayan. Now, can I call on all the singles out there? Nasa na mga singles? Taas ang kamay, ayan. 
The Feast Bikutan Singles Ministry is inviting you to rest in His love at the Love Life Retreat. Ito pong Love Life Retreat, hindi po ito paghahanap ng love life, kundi hahanapin natin ang sarili natin kay Lord. Ayan. So, this is a life-changing event and retreat happening on March 21 to 22, 2020 at the Hospitalier Sisters of Mercy, Muntinlupa City. Investment fee is at 3,000 pesos. At sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi nyo pagsisisihan na kayo ay gumasos ng 3,000 para sa retreat na ito. Talagang life-changing itong retreat na ito. So, for more information, you may look and contact Camps Soldevilla. Ayan. Another thing, Paki-save po itong araw na ito. Tanong nyo sa akin, kailan? March 15. Ano pong meron sa March 15? Kasi po sa March 15, we are celebrating Feast Bikutan's 7th anniversary. Ayan. Ayan. So, paki-kalendaryo po. Kung meron kayong Sunday na talagang hindi nyo absenan, yan talaga yon. March 17, gather your friends, lalo na yung mga kaibigan ninyo na dating feaster, matagal lang hindi nagatin, hikayate ninyo, punuin natin itong TCU Auditorium. Ayan. And then, another announcement is this. Um, sa Holy Week, magkakaroon pa rin po tayo ng ating Feast Alabang Holy Week Recollection. It's a free event and that's, that's going to be on April 9, 10, and 11. But there, this is a free event, libre po, but there will be VIP seats. So if you would like to get the best seats in the Holy Week Recollection, you can avail of uh, the sponsorship. You can buy tickets available by this Sunday at the feast. Just look for IV Dizon. Nasaan si IV? Ano dito ba si IV? Ayun, si IV. Andun sa likod. If you are willing to sponsor and buy tickets para mas maganda yung inyong seat, sa darating na Holy Week recollection natin. I will be there. Brother Arun Gogna will be there. All the feast builders of Feast Alabang District will be there. We will be giving talks. And then we invited some celebrity priests as well to be with us. So, saan po ang venue? Ito po ang big announcement. Hindi na po tayo, dat, dati kasi na doon po tayo sa Phil Invest Tent tsaka sa Bellevue Hotel. This time, isang venue na lang po tayo. The... The, the venue will be at the tent sa may Villar Sipag. Ito po ay nandun sa likod ng SM Sukat. So yung pong ating venue can seat 5,000 people. So isang session na lang po tayo. Andun po tayo lahat. And wag po kayo mag-alala, meron pong libreng parking on-site and meron pong buses to shuttle you back and forth from SM Sukat. Yung pong ating shuttle, baka mag-arrange po tayo ng shuttle natin from SM Bikutan, papunta po doon sa ating venue. Pero we are still working on it. But let's pray na maayos po ito para po sa hindi po tayo mahirapan magpunta sa ating Holy Week Recollection. All right. So, again, this will be at the tent at Vista Global South sa May Villar Sipag sa C5 Extension. Actually, Las Piñas City na po yan. So, ayun. So, I hope you can be there. And I'm glad to announce as of now, may nadagdag na naman po, we have now 58 members sa I Give Club po natin. Palakpakan naman natin ang ating mga members. Ang, yan pong I Give Club members natin, they are giving... 1,000 pesos every month apart from their love offering. So, sacrificial yan. So, yan po ay makakatulong po sa pag-expand ng ating feast. Ayan. Last and important announcement is this. Two weeks ago, ito po, pakinggan nyo po ako. Two weeks ago, we found a treasure. Next treasure talaga. Meron pong isa sa member natin, attendee siguro, na nakaiwan po ng mahalagang bagay. At yung mahalagang bagay na ito, nakita po namin nakaipit sa may isa-isang I Give Bulletin. So, kung ikaw yung taong nawalan nitong bagay na ito, hindi ko sasabihin kung ano kasi baka i-claim nyo yung kotse na nawawala, nakaipit sa I Give Bulletin. So, kung ikaw tong tao na ito, please look for IV Dizon dun sa I Give Table. Tapos sabihin mo lang kung ano yung bagay na nawawala ibibigay niya sa iyon. 
So kung ikaw itong taong ito, alam kong mahalagang mahalaga ito, na wala mo yung anak mo, ganyan pakiklaim kay Ivy Dizon. Ayan. Sobrang halaga nun, ha? Di ba? So, yun lang. I won't say what's that thing, but just for safety purposes. So, pakikuha po, lapitan nyo po si Ivy Dizon kung kayo nakaiwan po. At sabihin nyo lang sa kanya kung ano yung nawala ninyo. Ayan. Kung tama, edi di bibigay niya sa inyo. Kung sinabi niyo na wala ko po yung puso ko, eh, eh, sorry, hindi yun. So, hindi niya ibibigay sa iyo. Amen? Ayan. Again, thank you so much for this day. Ayan. Can I invite you to stand up? That's, end, that's the end of our announcements. By the way, first-timers, go over at the back. Meron po tayo doon um, welcome gift para sa inyo. And those who would like to be prayed over, just go over to the pray over ministry area as well. Can I invite you to lift up your offerings, lift up your envelopes up? Let me pray for our giving. Thank you, Lord, for this gift, for providing for us this week, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for entering our hearts. For we know, Lord, that we cannot be generous, we cannot be selfless, we cannot give sacrificially if not for your grace. And Lord, ito pong giving na ito, offering na ito, binabalik po namin sa iyo as a sign of our gratitude for all the blessings we have received. And we ask you, Lord, that you use these gifts to further your kingdom, to make more disciples here at the feast. And I pray, O oh God, that you return this to your people, selflessly giving to you every single week. Lord, hindi ko sila kayang i-reward, but may you be the one to reward them. For we know, Lord, you are a faithful and a generous God. Magpatotoo kayo sa kanilang buhay. Surprise them that when they give, they will be immensely blessed. All these, Father, we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Come, brothers and sisters, with joy in your hearts, give your tithes and love offerings to Jesus. Come on, let's continue to overflow and sing of God's love today. Searching, your love was never far. You made a way to get to me. You were the whisper leading me to your heart. Forever I belong to you. No, I can sing with you. My God, you are for me. You won't let go. Your love won't let me down. And I know it's true. Yeah, I know that your love is all around. I believe in you. Hoping I'll take it.